All right, hello YouTubers. Got another project complete. Um, I actually completed this one quite some time ago. I just um, took a bunch of footage and it was kind of a difficult project and there was no real way for me to to uh, video while I was doing every step. So I'm gonna try to um, summarize uh, what I did. I do have some footage I'll splice in somehow, um, but it's an electrical project. I was in the attic, I was crawling all over the place, there was just no way to film it um, in total. So, plus uh, doing DIY electrical projects on YouTube is a recipe for disaster because every electrician in the world seems to come and tell you how stupid you are. So, I don't care about any of that, I did it myself. Um, I don't. Uh, if there's a bunch of comments that are really crappy, I'm going to delete them. I'm just going to tell you that right up front. Um, but, um, you know, I did it myself. Uh, it's to code as far as I'm concerned. From what I read, I did a lot of research. Uh, this is how I did it. If my house burns down, then that's what insurance is for. Uh, I don't really want to hear it. So anyways, get that out of the way. What I did... Um, I don't have hardly any electrical outlets in my garage. I don't know why they don't install. Uh, I guess they figure people just park a car and go inside and go to sleep and don't work in the garage. But I work out here. I got a wood shop out here. I do some car maintenance. I got to have some power. So uh, there was one circuit in here, 15 amp, which is ridiculous, uh, two outlets. And then there was a, a circuit for the lights. Um, and then there was a circuit for the garage door openers. And that's it. So I couldn't run a table saw and uh, a dust collector at the same time. I, I, I kept blowing breakers. I've got refrigerator and freezer uh, out here. So long story short, I need a sub panel. Uh, the reason I needed a sub panel is because my electrical panel was full. Um, I'm not sure you can see that, but uh, all my breaker spots were, were completely uh, taken. So what I did is this panel uh, allowed for what they call tandem breakers. So I did a quick load calculation online. I have plenty of, of service power. I got 200 amp service here in the house. Um, I wasn't using anywhere near that um, as far as I could calculate. Uh, unless everything, you know, was running at one time, which is not true. That's why you do a calculation. So anyways, long story short, I freed up two slots in the circuit breaker panel by using tandem breakers. So I combined some of the 20 amp circuits uh, into tandems where you can get two breakers in, the, in one slot. Um, so I did that two times and I freed up two slots. So that freed me up a, a two slot area so I could put a 60 amp breaker in. Next thing I did is I ran 6.3 uh, Romex from the 60 amp breaker uh, right through the, the side of the, of the panel and up to this little sub panel here. So this is a 100 amp sub panel um, and I'm only feeding it with a 60 amp breaker which is fine. Um, and that gave me some more breaker spaces. So this is actually a uh, home line uh, circuit breaker panel. Um, they sell it at Lowe's and Home Depot or online or whatever. I'll put links to all this stuff. So again, I got 60 amps feeding 6.3 wire over to a 60 amp uh, or 100 amp uh, sub panel. And then I've got three tandem breakers in here. And these tandems are what they call quads. So it's, it's a two slot uh, breaker that has three circuits in it, all right? So it's got uh, a 120, a 240, and a 120 in each breaker. And I've got three of them. I went ahead and bought three and I filled it all up, okay? So I've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six potential 20 amp, 120 volt uh, breakers which I'm only using three. Um, I only wired up three. And then I've got three 240 volt 20 amp breakers. Uh, I believe they're 20. 
no, they're 30 amp breakers. Um, and I'm using two of those, okay? So I'm feeding uh, some regular outlets with the 20 ampers, and I'm feeding a uh, duplex 240 volt outlet, which I'll show you here in just a second, for my table saw and any future tool that I that I that needs 240 volts. And then this 240 volt circuit is feeding the mini split air conditioner that I installed, uh, of which you haven't seen yet, but I'm working on a video for that as well. So, uh, albeit I've got uh, an extra 240 volt circuit for future expansion, and I've got one, two, three, 20 amp, 120 volt circuits uh, that I could use later on as well for expansion. So, I went from having nothing to having uh, more power than I could ever use, I think, out here in the garage, plus a bunch of expansion. Um, this was not hard at all. Um, I used conduit. You can use conduit. So for the electricians that are going to tell me you can't do it, you can do it. All right. I talked to the inspector. It's protecting the wire from damage. That's all it's doing. It's not running all the way through the roof and all that crap. So conduit is allowed if you're using it for protection. Protection. So. That's where my wires run up through that conduit. They run across inside the attic and then down uh, some other conduit and I'll show you the outlets here in just a second. So the first circuit that I ran was uh, a quad outlet right here. Uh, 120 volts, 20 amps, and that's the only outlet on that circuit. So I've got four outlets here um, that can take up to 20 amps, and I've got it right here next to my garage door so I can use it outside if I'm doing vacuuming or I'm doing whatever outside. I've got my uh, shop back plugged into it. Right now I've got a light plugged into it. Um, very handy to have here. Plus, I can power anything over here next to my table saw uh, if I need to. So that was the first uh, 20 amp. Uh, this is the 240 volt circuit here. It's a, it's a duplex outlet, which I actually had to find on Amazon. So with the duplex, uh, right now I've got my table saw plugged into it at 240 volts. And then I've got an expansion outlet here. Um, yes, the metal boxes are grounded. Uh, no, you don't have to use plastic. Yes, you can use conduit if it's for protection, and that's how I did it. Okay, so the next two 20 amp circuit that I install is over here. Sorry about the transition there folks. So not sure you can see that but I think you can. So let's zoom in here I guess. So over here I've got another quad. The power's coming down from the attic. I've got a quad outlet here. So this is on its own 20 amp circuit. Uh, I've got my drill press, a uh, little crappy bandsaw, my grinder, my sander uh, plugged into that. And then I jump it over uh, with some conduit over here, across the bottom, and put another quad here. Which right now I've got my, uh, let me turn that off because I'm sure it's loud, my air uh, filter on. So a total of eight outlets right here above my workbench. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic. So I'm glad I did it. Yes, it's overkill. Uh, no, I don't care. Um, because I'm tired of tripping breakers and having to juggle extension cords. So, so the second 240 volt circuit is for this bad boy right here. And it is a one and a half ton uh, mini split air conditioner. Um, and as you can see, I'm pumping some massively cold air in here tonight. And I live in central Florida, it's hot here. And it's the best thing I've ever done uh, as far as a home improvement project. 
it was so hot in this garage that insulating the doors and putting this air conditioner in made it, I mean, a thousand percent better. So anyways, separate video. It's running on 20 or 30, 30 amp, I believe. Um, I don't know. I'll put that in the next video for this thing. That was a big project. I got it done and uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, so that's what uh, that circuit's for. The other 120 uh, volt circuit, I did another quad over here next to this workbench. Came down, put in another quad, ran across conduit, put in another quad right here, and then ran across and put in a third quad right here. So I've got four, eight, 12 uh, across this big workbench and um, absolutely best thing uh, I could have done. I've got power everywhere. Um, nothing's gonna trip no matter what I do as far as plugging things in. And um, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, that freed up this outlet up here that I've got this uh, air vac that nobody uses in the house. Um, it's on its own circuit. So I can run my, uh, my compressor still off of that, uh, my air compressor. And then that frees up all the other outlets in the garage uh, for, uh, for woodworking. And uh, that's what I do. So, so overall, a uh, big project. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a lot of work. I, uh, it took me about three days once I got all the parts here. Um, it took me about a day to get the sub panel installed. That included the conduit. Um, once I got that installed and wired, um, wired up, then it took me another day to get all of the wiring. Uh, I used 12-2 Romex to run uh, all the circuit wires because um, it's 20 amp uh, service everywhere. And uh, the, that second day was running all of the Romex for all of the different uh, feeds. So that was a big job. And then the third day it actually probably took me four days because it took me another two days to wire up all the quads and the, all, the, all the boxes. Um, there's quite a bit of wiring there to, uh, to run quads. Um, and then, uh, you know, screw all the outlets together and all that kind of stuff. So four day project, um, I figure I saved myself um, a couple thousand bucks, I would guess. I don't, I don't know, I didn't get a quote. Um, I've done electrical in the past. Um, I made sure uh, locally that my code didn't require something stupid. Uh, I did call the inspector on the conduit because the other two outlets in my garage had conduit um, uh, PVC to protect the wires. And he said, absolutely, it's fine. Uh, if you're running down the inside of a block wall, uh, which all homes, well, most homes here in, in Central Florida, new homes, um, all new homes are, are built with concrete block. Um, I told him what I was doing. He said, yeah, sounds fine. Um, so that's what I did. And uh, um, all told, I don't know what I spent on it. Um, you know, 60, 70 bucks for the 250 feet of, of, of Romex. 20, 30 bucks for the six gauge. I think it was 20, 30 bucks for the sub panel. Probably 10, 15, 20 bucks for the conduit. Um, the outlets were probably four dollars a piece at you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. You know, 20 of them. So uh, that's about 60, 70 bucks there. 
uh, the boxes and you know another couple of dollars each. So you know, add all that up, it's it wasn't cheap, but uh, it's a whole hell of a lot cheaper than having uh, an electrician come out here and do it. <clears throat> so, anyways, um, that's the project. This is not meant to be a DIY. Here's how you go wire your garage project. If you want to do that, go do your own research. Um, uh, hire an electrician, do whatever you want to do there. Um, this is just how I did it um, and why I did it. And um, uh, some ideas maybe uh, if you're going to go change uh, the power in your garage um, on how maybe you could do it as well. So. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button as it, as it helps me out. So uh, appreciate it, and we'll see you at the next video.